five meters to reach the water down the left hand side there is 10 meters left of that downhill but there is a bit of a headwind here very high ball from Norwich shouldn't run too much try and get a lower flight here and get it running down the hill it's a good line down the right hand side Foster will be making his 13th appearance. Carried for Sebi in the old days. Give us an idea of this remarkable ball flight of Nico Kosarts. Looking drive from Beef, all the way down the 14th. Huge advantage getting that first pitch on the fairway. The ball runs out if you get the right flight. And so when the ball lands, it runs like anything. So he gets one right here. Oh, gone right. Oh, it's out of bounds over there. It's the fence which protects the tractor's ground. Oh, he's lucky. He's kicked back in. Lucky Darren can do. Leaking a little right should be okay though. Okay. Best part of a 15 minute wait for this group on the 14th tee. Clear to go now, Norm. Starting at left, coming back to the middle of the fairway. <coughs> He can't hear me, it's all right. <laughs> Very defensive shot, though, not a low, choppy one. Well, what don't you? It's an absolute honey. Max distance right down the middle. Sit down. Goodness. He did well at 17, Ken. Remember, he knocked it into the spectators at the back of 13, took a penalty drop, made par. Up the left, get the kick off the bank. Ideal. Driver. Pushed, likely to find the bunkers. the seventh how about this tee shot from Andrew Johnston beef it's a reachable par four 286 yards 260 meters and you couldn't ask for a much better tee shot than that so he's now moved to eight under back to the famous seventh for that wonderful mountain backdrop this was a tee shot from Danny Willett with the help of Pro Tracer and so we got an early indication Oh, straight, that. Working hard today, Andy, to his mental health. A lot of good to make the cut. A little bit of work with Jamie Goff, his coach. 
yesterday afternoon because he was a bit See the spin of the ball holding it into the slope, a little higher trajectory. It should bounce straighter on this one. I'll not put it on the ground. nearly out of bounds, needs a break, hit the right side of the fence and very lucky. Oh, big bounce off the fence which borders the practice ground. That's good. Really is a marvellous tee shot. Good flight, good trajectory. Trundles on and on. On the left side to carry it on a little flatter area. Otherwise the ball bounds to the right. slope in the 18th fairway they question that there is less wind this afternoon the key here is just to find the fairway if you dribble off to the right it makes birdie very difficult has he got the carry to get up on the flat it's a bit of a low rakey one and the flat bit up the left hand side makes life so much easier to carry just sort of tiptoes at the top of it oh, oh that's an absolute stinger coming towards the end of our second day transmission from Krong sur Sierre but we will be staying on air to see this group finish Doesn't keep too far to the left left he's a good bounce and he's got a nice straight bounce that's with a cut spin he held it into just an iron down the tenth for Scott End down the fast lane a hard bit close to those Langesque with his utility club I think on the tenth and oh, that's going down the right hand side and staying there might just kick out if he's lucky. Oh, it would have done if it hadn't hit the spectator. R5 14th. Beef. Oh, that'll need to come back. That's right on the line of the out of bounds. It has come back again. Flushed it a little right, needs a kick. A little kick, wrong way. No, you've got to be very accurate. Hit a shot like green, that's perfect. Keep it quite low and run it down the hill. This one's much higher and leaking right. Easy to touch the fence. I think he did, but we did. Stinger, Brandon Gray style. It's a high ball though, and uh -oh. that's leaking right too. It's inside the other bounds. Stand still please, thank you. 368 metres, big slopey fairway. And that should be inch perfect. A bit bony up that left side, so you get a big hard kick forward. Where the flag is cut today, finding the fairway critical, otherwise the water will be further right you carry it, the further that carry is. Should be ideal. Yeah, 
Just an idea of the tilt of the fairway. I don't know what it's running on the stint, but it's pretty quick. A flat bit. Gentle breeze helping. Oh, he's down semi country here. He's not careful up against the wall. Oh, she's taken a ping. Oh, hit someone. Huge, huge break. That for me. It's three wood. It's going to go a long way. It's going to do well to avoid the sand. It's bound to kick to the right. Oh, my goodness. Be lucky. Oh. More breeze in his face now. Taking the club, I don't think can reach the trap, otherwise, he would be looking a bit more concerned. To get it down the right side of the fairway, starting it on the right edge to come back to the middle. Land down the hill at the 14th, committing to a draw and hitting one. Uh, he, that was almost maximum distance for him. Turning right to left towards the trees from Johnston. Come out, not quite. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Too tight. Yeah, the pro tracer confirming that. Well, that's tight up the low. Oh, he's caught the tree. That was barely a hundred yards off the tee. Out there, not his favourite shot. He'd rather cut it. Oh, that looks a gem. That's got a summer tight, it's got a mile. Yeah. Oh, he's gone left again. This time he gets a kick out, but it's kicked back a long way. Just going to be all right, I think, Julian. Just. Nice kick out down the slope. So once again, it's advantage Sweden. 